much. We often report on hackers going after banks, social media, and businesses. But schools are also a target. Let's bring in Dr. Zahid Anwar. He is the Associate Professor of Mathematics and Computer Science at Fontbonne University. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Kim. Thank you for having me. Well, we're talking about ransomware today. Can you tell us what that is? Yes. So ransomware attacks almost feel like COVID. Uh, they're persistent. Uh, they have lots of variants, and they're constantly popping up. Uh, the FBI has recently warned about ransomware targeting schools. This is a malware, which is short for malicious software, uh, and a dangerous stain that they mention is the PYSA, also called Mesapenusa, but there are many other variants too. Uh, once it infects, it encrypts files and then demands payment. It uses a double extortion. This is something new. Firstly, for uh, regaining data, and then secondly, to stop them from exposing it to others. Well, why are hackers going after schools and colleges then if it's looking for money? Well, schools have been experiencing attacks even before the pandemic, but prevalence has increased. Attackers are opportunists and they're becoming highly selective. They're like a hawk bouncing upon a dove. You know, schools are appealing targets because they are an essential service. Uh, they maintain uh, lots of data. They are low hanging fruit, often under resourced with respect to technology and then use of personal devices and unfamiliarity with the cybersecurity makes uh, kids vulnerable. Uh, so and even a personal identity theft of kids is likely to go unnoticed for years. I know that it's difficult for even college students to recognize an oncoming ransomware attack. What do we do when it's our children who are eight, nine, ten years old using that computer? Yes. Uh, so for uh, for ransomware, uh, it's important to understand how it works. The very first stage is infection, and the kids are using these computers. It's really important to educate them. So awareness and explain how to recognize emails that are not from your teachers, that are not from other administration at the university. Schools can use uh, email banners to help kids identify which messages are coming from their organizations and which ones are not. And then it's important to test and patch your system. So even if uh, kids do inadvertently click on links, then they, the, the ransomware doesn't affect other important files on the school's computers. And I imagine that, uh, especially if a child is going to school on a home computer, that this is a task that parents want to do as well, right? That is correct. Majority of students will be uh, using home computers and they'll be connecting in through some kind of uh, video conferencing system. And we've already been seeing video bombing attacks and all, and this is now new. And so the kids need to know if they're using a secure system. Uh, schools should be using their own uh, systems that uh, students can carefully log into uh, rather than use uh, public services like public email and all. Well, teachers have been incredibly busy this past year, not just switching over to virtual learning, but also switching back and forth, back and forth, depending on COVID-19 infection rates. So how do you communicate to a teacher who may not be tech savvy how to sniff this out and stop it? There's uh, many ways to do education. So uh, you should have some special sessions uh, for them. Uh, some very basic information about, you know, how to use the softwares, what not to do, what kind of apps are safe to use on their machines. So we definitely uh, need, to make sure, need to make sure that our teachers are trained as well. Well, you can learn more about how to protect your school. We'll have a link to Fonbon University Cybersecurity Program, and that link at the bottom of your screen outlines the FBI warning. You want to read that as well. Just visit fox2now.com. Dr. Zahid Anwar, thank you so much for your help today. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Well, we'll be 